Okay, so one of the things that's most important is that the community itself, the community of beans, uh, you know, in this particular case, here's these flavorable beans. There's, you know, the brown beans, the yellow beans, the white beans, the black beans, all of these flavorable ones. But these, the greens, they go. The greens go. They're not wanted. They're not part of this society. Now, what's very important is that all beans want to be accepted. I don't know of any human, I don't know of any bean that does not want to be a part of the larger bean community. Okay? So, everyone, one of the things that's most important is that this community responds in different ways. There's different responses uh, to the racialization process. And, and, and one of the things is no community responds the same. Okay, to that racialization process. Everybody does different things. And that's okay. That's the way the community responds. Now, most importantly is that these beans don't like these beans. Why do you look so different? Why are you, in, if we go to your neighborhoods, why are your neighborhoods so violent? And, and is it safe to even go to these neighborhoods? Okay? Um, why is it that you guys have to do things so differently than us? Why can't you be like us? And so, of course, there's going to be a lot of beans who are going to want to be like these beans. And so they'll do whatever they can to be accepted into these beans. They'll change their names. Uh, you know, don't call me green beans anymore. Uh, call me, you know, uh, uh, French, French style, whatever. Whatever it is that they can do to, to kind of be accepted. Maybe they don't want to be green. Maybe what they do is instead of going out into the sun, maybe they'll stay inside and maybe they'll, they'll turn brown so they can hang out with the brown beans. Or, uh, I don't know, they might have difficulty trying to be white with white beans. Uh, maybe they don't, you know, whatever it is that they're going to try to do. Uh, maybe change their, their names, uh, change their names to, to English names. Or maybe change their names uh, so they won't be in their language. Uh, maybe they'll change the color of their eyes. Maybe they, they don't want to see if they can change the color of their skin. Maybe they'll, they'll do certain things, color their hair, do whatever it is that they can by which to be accepted. So, uh, and, and then these beans, of course, are, are looking at these beans and say, well, why do you have to be so different? Why not uh, join us by trying to look like us? So sociologists and anthropologists use the term that helps us identify that kind of response, and that is assimilation. Assimilation. Why don't you assimilate and become part of us? Drop your culture. Drop your identities. Drop what it is and be like us, because after all, we're having a great time. We're in an advantaged position. So why, why, not, why don't you just try to be like us? And there are those beings who say, okay, yes, uh, we're going to try to be like you. We want to be like you. Okay? If my name is Miguel, well, I'm going to call myself Michael. Okay? Uh, uh, if my name is uh, uh, Fraga, instead of Fraga, I mean, call me Frega. Okay? Uh, whatever it is that it takes by which to be accepted. Okay? But, um, and I remember my mom, because I didn't, I didn't like canned green beans, and I remember my mom when she was trying to get me to eat them, uh, she, she made them with chorizo and time to hide them in, in scrambled eggs, and I said, no, 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 they're still canned green beans, I don't like them, I see them, I'm not going to eat them, okay? So one of the things that happens with those who do assimilate is that they still experience the racialization process, because no matter how much they try to look like them, they're still canned green beans, okay? They're still separate, okay? So that's assimilation. Not all communities respond the same way. There are those who assimilate. In fact, those who assimilate are not a significant part of the community, although there are those that part of the community who do assimilate. The majority of the community, they don't want to disturb anything. And so what they do is they try to accommodate or they adapt to the racialization process. So accommodation and adaptation, that's the major response of all communities as they face the racialization process. All communities try to adapt, try to accommodate. In other words, they want to balance the demands of the outside world with their rich heritage.